Hi, I'm Jeff Jacobson with Woodworkers Journal. 3D printers, like Dremel's Idea Builder, are becoming more available and more common to the consumer market. That made us wonder, is it a tool for woodworkers? To that, we printed out a few woodworking projects. Here I have an end table that Kimberly McNeilan made for our April issue. And here I have an Adirondack chair that will be featured in a future issue. 3D printers like this one work by laying down thin layers of plastic, building them up one layer at a time. It's not a speedy process. Dremel sells various colors of plastic filament that is melted and then printed onto a special build platform. As you can see, as the model is being printed, additional supports are being made along with it. These will grow with the model and support areas that need additional support. At the end, these will be removed. There was some trial and error getting started. However, that's to be expected because I had never worked with technology like this. One of the nice things about this machine is it does have a touchscreen pad. The touchscreen pad has two main tools. The build button lets you build a model that is either on the SD card or saved in the machine. The machine saves models as they are printed. The tools button has an array of options. Filament button will walk you through the loading and unloading of the filaments. There's a preheat button. It will preheat the tip while you're getting your model ready to build. Another key is the leveling feature. This is very important as this determines how well the model sticks to the build platform. There's also a jog feature. You can move the extruder up and down, side to side, and also the build platform can be raised or lowered. On the side is a USB port and also a slot for an SD card. The USB cable is very handy if you want to keep the printer next to your computer and print directly from your hard drive. Otherwise, if you want to keep the printer in a separate room, you could print your files using an SD card. Here you can see this filament spool in the machine as it feeds over to the printer head. These filaments come in a wide variety of colors and they're very easy to change. I'm sure 3D printers will be finding their way into the workshop. It's a versatile machine that will get easier to use as time goes on. I hope you enjoyed this short look at 3D printing. I'm Jeff Jacobson with Woodworkers Journal. Thanks for watching.